But good morning, praise the Lord. Derek, we will pray for America and time spent with the word. How excellent is your name, O Lord God, in all the heavens and in all the earth. I invite the presence of Ruha Elohim. I invite the presence of Ruha HaKodesh. I invite the presence of Spiritus Santos. Hallelujah, guys. Alos Paracletos. I invite the presence of the Holy Spirit as we come pray for America. God, I ask that brotherly love will continue across this country, that the liberty bell, Father God, will ring again once again across this nation and father god the love of liberty the love of brotherhood god will bind our hearts and knit our hearts together as a people as a nation as the church as the body of christ for your glory in jesus name amen we're blessed the lord once again psalms 133 uh, verse number one reads how truly wonderful and delightful oh yes it is to see brothers and sisters living together in sweet unity. It's interesting. I'm wearing my Care Bears t-shirt and here comes the scripture to see brothers and sisters living together in sweet unity unity. That's our prayer for America. Sweet unity. You know that the care bears, they care one for another. Come on. That we will begin to care, even like these characters, one for another. We will care for the brothers and sisters that are hurting, the ones that are doing well. We will rejoice with them. The ones that are in need, we will meet the need. We will care one for another. We will not just be a nation, but one nation under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for who? For some, for a few. No, liberty and justice for everybody across the board. Come on, somebody. No matter the backgrounds, liberty and justice for all. Why? Because we are one nation under God. And we clearly say in God, we trust. And I pray to God that it be so that America will come into that revelation, literally in knowing that we cannot do this on our own. This country cannot be successful without God. And no matter how hard people try to remove God out of the equation, Jesus has to be at the center of everything pertaining to this country. If you remove God, hallelujah, and it's nothing but trouble that this nation would have. Keep God at the center of the United States of America. Keep God at the center of the government because the government rests upon his shoulders. Come on. Keep God at the center in the families. Keep God at the center in the schools. Definitely keep God at the center in the churches. And let's come into their realization of who we are. What kind of God are we serving? When we go Sunday to Sunday after service, my God, we leave these churches. Are we leaving change for the better? Are we leaving challenge? Are we living fully prepared to face an evil world out there? Or are we living even worse than we came in? Come on, somebody. It is time that we dwell together in unity, in harmony, and in love. And oh my God, that brotherly love I just heard in my spirit shall continue amongst the body of Christ. Let's pray for America. Because everything starts with the church. Father, I thank you that even your word tells us that judgment begins in the house of the Lord and unity also begins in the house of the Lord. So I pray you will bind our hearts. You will knit our hearts together as the body of Christ, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Then knit the hearts, God, of we the precious people in America, in Jesus' name. Father, where there is blindness, where we have chosen to just be blind to the truth, Father God, remove the scales, open our eyes clearly, Lord God, let us see and know what that we which is right, that which is wrong, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as we know Abel's blood cried out to you when Cain murdered him, Father God. Let the same blood, Father God, cry out today. In this context, let it be the blood of the innocents from the elderly, God, in our state that will literally, Father God, murder here in our state to the babies, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus that have been stripped and ripped out, Father. In Jesus' name, I'm praying that the blood of the innocent will cry out and Lord God, God, you will hear the precious blood of the innocent and you will turn our state around. You will turn our country around. 
You will turn our county around. You will turn our city around for your glory in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. Because father, we have nothing else to stand on but the word of God. And as we are crazy enough, father God, to believe what the word of God says, we ask God that you will put your power on display for all to see and know that this is the time for shaking. This is the time for turning. This is the time for even and overturning. This is the time for flipping the script. This is the time for flipping the tables. Come on. Mm. This is the time that the money changes be cast out of the temples. This is the time that those who sell and buy in the body of Christ be cast out. That your house will be called a house of prayer. That it will no longer be called, my God, a place known for a den of thieves to come and abide in Jesus' name. And that we, the people, would abide in the shelter of the Most High. And, oh, my God, and rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Because you said in your word, if you abide in me and my word abide in you, you can ask what you will and it shall be given unto you good measure pressed down shaken together and running over now father all of that it's your word and we put you back in remembrance of your word as we bless our nation we pray for our nation we pray for the mothers everywhere we pray for fathers everywhere we pray for sons everywhere we pray for daughters everywhere we pray for husbands everywhere we pray for wives everywhere we pray for government officials everywhere federal state local god we just pray everywhere god that you will cover us all with the precious blood of Jesus. And Lord God, remind us that we are the winners. The enemy is the loser and we are the winners in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. And so it is. And so uh, shall it be. The Lord be with you and also with me. The Lord bless you and may be strong in the Lord. Do not let the enemy oppress you. Do not let the enemy suppress you. Do not let the enemy cause you to go into depression. Stand and having done all to stand, knowing that God is with us. God is for us. God is on our side. And if he is for us, we have nothing to lose and yet everything to gain. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of God, as we say every single day, and stand your ground, having done all to stand, continue to stand. Don't let no one who cannot create a day come in and ruin your day, amen. Like the care bears, let's care one for another. Let's love on each other, amen. Let the spirit of unity be at the focus of who we are as Americans and in this country. No matter what the enemy try to do to divide us, let's come together in harmony, in love and in unity because love conquers all. Love covers a multitude of sin and all of the gifts, all of the talents, all of the anointing means nothing without love. So let's go out there today and love somebody and let them know that with the believers, we are here because God is love and he sent his only begotten son that whoever, no matter who, will believe on him will not perish but have everlasting life and it's only because of love. Until the next time. Shalom.